Report by Wikipedia. The electric vehicle industry in China is the largest in the world, accounting for around 57.4% of global production of electric vehicles (EVs) and around 500,000 exports in 2021. In 2021, Com reported China had sold 3.34 million passenger electric vehicles, consisting 2.73 million BEVs (battery-only EVs) and 0.6 million FEV plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, which is around 53% share of the global market of 6.23 million new energy passenger vehicles, BEVs, FEVs, and HEVs. China also dominates the plug-in electric bus and light commercial vehicle market, reaching over 500,000 buses, 98% of global stock, and 247,500 electric commercial vehicles, 65% of global stock in 2019, and recording new sales of 186,000 commercial EVs in 2021. Plug-in electric vehicle, BEV and FEV, sales was 15% of the overall automotive sales in China in 2021. NEV adoption rapidly increased to a record 28% in March 2022, and according to BYD Chairman Wang Chuanfu could reach 35% by end of 2022 exceeding the government goal of 20% by 2025. The plug-in market in China was dominated by Chinese companies, with BYD Auto and Sayak Motor occupying the top two spots, and five out of the top seven spots. The battery industry is closely related to the EV industry as batteries constitute around one-third of the cost of EVs and around 80% of lithium-ion batteries in the world are used in EVs. The industry also has significant Chinese presence, with major players including world's largest cattle, BYD, Kalb, Goshen, Zvolt and Wee Lion. The battery industry is closely related to the EV industry as batteries constitute around one-third of the cost of EVs and around 80% of lithium-ion batteries in the world are used in EVs. It is estimated to be worth around $30 billion 2021 and expected to grow to around $127 billion by 2027, with demand expected to reach 3,000 GWh by 2030. Globally, manufacturing capacity is expected to increase to more than 5,500 gigawatt hours by 2030, including 3,000 gigawatt hours of capacity announced by Chinese manufacturers to date. As of 2021, total demand of the market was 296.8 gigawatt hours, over double of the amount in 2020. As of Q1 2021, LFP type battery market share reached 24.1%, with Chinese manufacturers holding a near monopoly, and is expected to rise further to surpass NCM type batteries in 2028. Reported by BBC. Five years ago, the city revealed plans to ban the introduction of fossil fuel powered taxis. Today, thousands of the cars run on batteries instead, and the drivers of these electric vehicles, EVs, don't have to worry about wasting time at charging stations, either. Many electric taxis in Beijing, and dozens of other Chinese cities, just go to a battery swapping station where a machine plucks out the depleted battery and installs a charged one in mere minutes. This is just one facet of the increasingly diverse and booming market for electric cars in China. Members of the public are also snapping up EVs in unprecedented numbers. Workers assemble Lotus Nyo Elder electric SUVs at the smart plant of Wuhan Lotus Technology in Wuhan in central China's Hubei province Friday July 15, 2022. In July, the China Passenger Car Association predicted that 6 million new EVs would be registered in the country in 2022, a revision of its previous forecast of 5.5 million EVs to be sold this year. Tesla had its best ever month in China in September. According to its most recent figures, selling 83,135 cars, nearly a quarter of all cars newly registered in China are now electric or plug-in hybrid vehicles, meaning that the country is ahead of Europe and well ahead of the US in adoption of these technologies. Half the world's EVs are sold in China, and this is largely driven by government mandates and incentives, says Ms. Shea. For more than a decade. The Chinese government has subsidized EV purchases. The value of these subsidies has fallen over time, 
and they are due to end by 2023, but there are still plenty of reasons why buying an electric car is a financial no-brainer. There are other perks if you opt for a NEV instead, though they differ from city to city. In Liuzhou, authorities have allowed EV owners to drive in bus lanes. And they get access to free parking spaces as well. Then there is the potentially irresistible price tag of some vehicles. The Wu Ling Hong Guang Mini EV bucks the trend of EVs being a relatively expensive option. The Wu Ling Hong Guang Mini EV during the 19th Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition in Shanghai on April 20, 2021. The entry level version of this stinky, no frills car costs the equivalent of just £4,200 and appeals to city dwellers and first time car owners, says John Heikiwi president and director of Storm Crow Capital, a consulting and research firm. The Hongguang Mini is currently China's most popular EV. But there are a host of options at the other end of the price scale, such as Tesla's Model Y, £49,000, or Zpeng's P7, £30,410. Both are in the list of top 10 best-selling EVs in China. The Chinese EV market is enormously competitive and lots of companies are vying for a place in it. Even an airline, Jun Yao, wants to start making electric cars, according to a recent report from the Reuters news agency. And manufacturers are filling higher-end EVs with infotainment systems and other gadgetry in a further attempt to woo consumers. But two big questions hover over the frenzy for electric cars in China. Firstly, will it last? And secondly, how will it shape the global EV market? Anna Nichols. Director of Industry Analysis at the Economist Intelligence Unit, says she has been surprised at just how quickly EVs have flown out of dealerships in China lately but argues that, with the removal of subsidies for purchasers of new vehicles, the appetite for EVs could wane. Charging infrastructure remains unevenly distributed and subject to supply issues. Some charging stations were curtailed recently thanks to a fall in electricity production caused by the mega drought affecting parts of China. Usually, more EV owners means rising demand for electricity in general and China faces an uphill battle in supplying all of these new vehicles at the same time as the country is trying to cut coal consumption at its power plants. This is one reason why some analysts, including Mr. Haikiwi, argue that hybrid electric vehicles are a better option than cars that run on batteries alone, since they will be less reliant on the grid. They also require less lithium, given their smaller batteries which could be important given potential shortages of lithium expected in the coming years. As for how the Chinese EV market could influence the rest of the world, the jury is still out. But it is already starting, with Chinese firms marketing EVs in Latin America, Africa and elsewhere. A NIO EC6 electric sport utility vehicle SUV, is seen at a NIO battery swap station on September 18, 2021 in Xi'an. Shanxi province of China. Mr. Pacheco argues that more major car brands would have to adopt battery swapping for the technology to become widespread in Europe. But he highlights the success of ultra-low-cost EVs in China, such as the vehicles offered by local brands Wu Lin and Cherry. In emerging markets, these are exactly the kind of vehicles that could catch on. Time to conquer the world? Maybe. But there's another school of thought that says, well, the world can wait. Analysts tend to agree that it will be very interesting to see what happens when the subsidies run out. That could push Chinese EV makers towards other markets, and maybe we'll all fall in love with EVs thanks, indirectly, to the policies of Chinese authorities. We'll have to wait and see.